All right, so here's what we got going on. That is a bunch of fat from the dough I killed last night. And we're gonna put it all in the crock pot with about four cups of water. We got one of these little uh, slow cook liners. So we don't mess my wife's crock pot up if this don't go right. And we're gonna try to render all that fat down into basically oil, grease. And then we're gonna sift it all through a cheesecloth and uh, clean it up and see if we can make soap out of this stuff. So here we go. All right, we've got the crock pot set on low. Got all of our fat in there. And we're just gonna let this thing render all day long. See what it looks like in about eight hours or so. All right, y'all, it's been about seven hours. And this is what we're working with. A lot of the fat has broke down. Just about everything you see on top here is oil. We'll probably let it render out the rest of the night. Come back and check it in the morning, but I think we are well on our way to rendering out all this deer fat. And we'll have enough to make some soap. And this is what we've got after about 14 hours. Now it's still got some chunks in here, but I think that's about as far as it's going to break down. I could probably give it another day, but we're just going to go ahead and strain it out and just see how much tallow we're going to get out of this. All right, the cool thing about these bags is I can lift everything out of the crock pot. Ooh, it's hot. And we're just going to slowly pour it into this bowl with our strainer. This is going to be our first cleaning of it. Trying to do it carefully. There it goes. Whew, that's hot. Alright. Now, strain out the rest of that. And that's pretty much what we have. Now we're going to let this cool. All that should settle to the bottom. And then we're going to heat it up again after we get the chunk that floats on top. And we'll run it through some cheesecloth and see how that cleans up. Well, that's all we have left. It's really not much compared to what we started with. So we're just going to toss that to the dogs and let them eat the rest of that. And then uh, what we're doing right now is we're just going to let everything cool down here in the refrigerator until it all turns solid white. Then we'll uh, pull it out, clean it up some more, and I'll show you that process. Alright, so we've had the refrigerator for about, I don't know, about an hour and a half now. And what we've got, if you look, we've got this big old chunk. We're going to just try to swing it up. You can see that's a lot of the water in the bottom there. I see all this will end up being cleaned up once we, uh, we're going to remelt this and strain it through some cheesecloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up, put it in a smaller bowl, and we're just going to throw it in the microwave render it down like I said all this should be cleaned up from the cheesecloth all right it's been in the microwave for about eight minutes and this is what we've got Ooh, that's hot all right looks like everything's uh, rendered down pretty good so that should be just fine. And we're gonna stir that through the cheesecloth and see how good that cleans up. All right, we got our cheesecloth and our strainer. We got a bowl underneath. And we're just gonna slowly pour this fat. This 
is going to let only the purest form of this rendered deer fat to go into the bowl. All the thick pieces and all the garbage and impurities and stuff will stay on top. I've got the cheesecloth doubled like four times. We'll just take our time with it. I'm going to try to just turn it a little bit to where it can go all the way through. And here is what we have left. Just completely pure. We're going to let that solidify in the refrigerator for about an hour or two. And then we'll come back and scrape the tops off and go from there. All right, well, we've got that block cooled down. We'll push on a little bit, get it slipped out of there. And there we go. You can see that it's all the dirty water that was left that's drained out. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take a knife and I'm just going to scrape the bottom of it. And now we're doing is getting all that uh, trash and impurities that have stuck to the bottom. Scrape that off and get it cleaned up. Scrape the top real quick. There you have it. There's our block of clean purified deer tallow. And that is what we're going to use to turn into soap. So I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. And we'll just keep this in the freezer until we're ready to make soap out of it. Well, all right, y'all. Here is all of our uh, deer tallow that we've rendered out and cleaned up. We got that broken in chunks. We got our lye in today. I got some uh, fragrance oil, which I did a lot of research, and it says it depends on the oil, how it's going to react to your skin. I just tried some of my inner thigh to see if it was going to break me out or burn me. That was two hours ago. It's fine, so I'm going to use it in my soap. Uh, everything else I've seen had this immersion blender. I don't have one, but I did have a dowel, a popsicle stick, and a drill. So that's going to be my blender. So step one is we're going to put this in the microwave and we're going to melt that all down again. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is take our lye. You got to be careful with this stuff. We need 4.2 ounces. We're just going to keep pouring that in there until we get, oh, it's 4.6. Pour a little bit of it back out. 4.3, we're almost there. 4.1, just a smidgen. There we go, 4.2 ounces of lye. So we're gonna set off that off to the side because we're gonna have to mix that with water, but we're gonna do that outside because uh, it creates like a gas and it's pretty harmful for you. So we'll do that outside and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, since we still got the scale out, we're gonna go ahead and take the oil that we've got. We need two ounces of it. That's one. That's two. All right, 2.2, that's good enough. I mean, It'll smell a little bit prettier, so we're gonna work with that. Well, all right, y'all, we're outside, and we've got our 13 ounces of water. We're gonna pour it in this glass bowl. And from the instructions I've read, it always says pour the lye into the water and not the other way around, because you'll get, I don't know, some kind of burn and explosion. I don't know what it does. But anyway, it says to pour this in slowly. 
So we're going to pour that in slowly. Apparently this stuff kind of heats up. All right, there's all of our lye in the water. Now all we're gonna do is take our little spoon, start mixing this up. And it says that we need to leave it here until it cools down for about 10 minutes and the liquid becomes clear again. So, yeah, it's giving off some heat. I can definitely feel it. That's crazy. So, yeah, we'll leave that out here. Let that cool down. And then we'll come back and check it out in about 10 minutes. All right, our lye and water mix has cleared up a good bit. We're going to give it just a little bit longer. Then we're going to bring it in here and mix with our uh, tallow. All right, we've been waiting on our tallow to cool down. So we're going to put our thermometer in here. We need it about at 100. And we're at 100. So we're going to go ahead and mix in our lye and water solution. All right, we're just going to pour that in there slowly. And now we're going to take our little mixer here. And we're just gonna get this stuff stirred up until you get what's called trace. Now I had to look that up. Trace basically means it turns into pudding. So we're gonna stir this until we get a pudding-like consistency, and then we'll add our uh, our oils to it. All right, y'all. We have reached trace, so we're gonna pour all of our oils in there. And then we're just going to go back to mixing it and thoroughly mix it all the way through. All right, we're just going to give it one more good mix. And then we're going to pour it into our mold. Be our first big block of soap. Now I'm not going to waste what's left in here. I'm actually going to put that in a uh, little muffin cup and let it harden so we'll get a little piece out of that too. But that's it right now. We're going to cover this with a little piece of wax paper, wrap it in a towel, and let it sit overnight for 24 hours until it hardens. Then we'll have a look at it tomorrow. Well, all right, y'all. It's been 24 hours. We've had our soap in the mold. We've had it wrapped up in a towel. And we're going to finally have a look and see what we've got. Smells good. Let's see if we can get it out of the mold. All right, here we go.
the soup. This stuff smells awesome. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut it into bars. I'm going to measure it out. And then we've got to let it uh, age and cure. And all that does is lets all the moisture get out of it. It should take about three to four weeks. And uh, it's safe to use right now. But like I said, we've got to wait for it to, to get harder so it's going to last longer, get all the, uh, the water out and to let those crystals inside of it form. So I'm going to measure this out and we'll start cutting bars. All right, what I've gone ahead and done is I've got my little measuring tape right here. I just laid it across and made some indentations about every inch or so. So now we're going to slowly take our little knife that we got with our uh, soap kit. And we're going to cut this into bars. there is our first bar of homemade deer fat soap. <laughs> now right now the soap is extremely soft. And as I said to my understanding, we let this cure and that's going to make it much harder last a whole lot longer and you have to go ahead and cut it now because if you don't it'll be too hard to cut later There we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars. I'll let y'all take a look at this. And that's it. That's what we've got. So like I said, I'm just going to put these on drying racks and we'll let them cure for about three to four weeks. And uh, then we'll give them a test. Now, even though our soap is done, it's not really finished. Now, we still have to let this cure for about a month so that the crystals can form, the moisture can evaporate out of it, the bar can harden up a little bit, and uh, this is going to make it last longer. It's going to make it lather and bubble better. And uh, every video I've seen has ended right here, and they never show you the real finished product. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to wait a month and then we're going to take this same bar of soap and we're going to try to wash our hands with it and lather up and to see how it really turned out. So that's the plan. I mean, you can see right now, I don't know, but this is like still really soft. I can sit there and scratch it like it's nothing. You see that? I shouldn't be able to do that in a month. So we'll, uh, we'll check back in in about four weeks. And we'll see what we've got. Well, all right, y'all. It's about been a about a month, so we're gonna go ahead and test out this deer soap here in the kitchen, and uh, just kind of see what we uh, what we ended up with. All right, let's give this soap a little bit of a test. This is one of the bars that we cut. It's already starting to lather up real good. Set that right there. There you go, you can see it's got a really good, silky, creamy lather. And just for grins, I got one of these little, I don't know if they call some kind of shower sponge thing my wife has in there. Now we're just going to see what happens if we put a little soap on it. And there it is. That bubbles up even better. Look at that. That's all deer soap, y'all. We made this completely out of deer fat, some essential oil. I mean, you can't beat that. Look at that. All right. 
Woo. Making a mess. The water's a little hot. Man, that cleans up good, too. My hands feel great. They smell great. Shoot ya. Well, y'all, I'd have to say that's a success. I mean, we take a couple uh, pieces of fat off a of deer that we kill, render it out, add a few ingredients, and boom, a month later, we've got soap that, uh, I mean, it smells great, feels great. My hands feel super soft and everything. So, uh, just something to try out. I mean, if you've got a bunch of uh, fat from these deer that you've been killing and stuff like that, and you're just throwing away, it might be a little uh, project that you can try and, uh, you know, put something that usually goes to waste to use. So, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. But anyway, we made soap out of deer fat. Till next time, y'all.